Here at Huron, we offer the Middle Years program, which is the, an IB program of study in the ninth and the 10th grade. And part of a requirement in the program is that students have an interdisciplinary experience um, to help shape their learning so they get multiple perspectives on a topic. We've designed a ninth grade experience. Um, we call it our Identities in Crisis Unit. And the students explore the events of the Holocaust and the impact of the Jewish people, the impacts of the Holocaust had on the Jewish people. And we study that from three perspectives, from a world history perspective, from an English perspective, and from a biology perspective. So the students are getting these different ideas presented to them in these three classes in the ninth grade all around one central uh, statement of inquiry. And our statement of inquiry for this unit is misrepresentation of identity has consequences. So what does that look like in a history class, in an English class, in a biology class? And as part of our overall unit of study, we um, take our ninth grade students to the Zeckelman Holocaust Center in Farmington Hills. And there, students learn from an, an actual physical museum about the impact the Holocaust had on the Jewish people and other groups that they um, help inform our students about. We it was really like informative because like it taught us so many different things that like we couldn't learn just in school from like slideshows and when going to the museum we saw like monumental pieces and like pictures and like all different types of things that like we could learn just from like looking at it and reading and it was really great experience. Also hear from a second generation survivor of the Holocaust. Typically this is an individual that is um, the son or the daughter of Holocaust survivors. And they share with us the impact that the Holocaust had on them and their family. And then when we return, the, our end of the unit assessment is students create a virtual museum where they look at the events of the Holocaust and they get to demonstrate their learning from these multiple perspectives and tell us what impact learning in this way has had on them as learners. Uh, one particular reaction that sticks out to me was the reaction that the students had to the second generation survivor because we do so much work with first-hand accounts in class. We do so much work with the actual um, events that happened in the Holocaust. Seeing the generational trauma um, and the actually the emotions and it's sometimes the um, restriction of emotion from the speaker uh, trying to um, keep from being too emotional um, at times was really powerful uh, with our students. That's something that they've mentioned um, as we return. And then, you know, this being a field trip that we open up to all of our students, you know, students from our uh, sheltered special ed class were uh, joining us and uh, seeing the reactions from those students who had not um, been prepped through the uh, world history class was very emotional um, and at times you know we um, had uh, special uh, conversations with students to uh, contextualize what is going on and uh, make sure that emotionally um, they're understanding what is happening in these situations. I think that it was a really good idea to kind of have all of the classes work on a very similar topic and then it really shows you how interconnected everything is and the field trip itself, in my opinion, was really informative and um, learning things in a classroom off of slideshows and everything obviously is informative, but actually seeing things and going through that tour just was an added bonus uh, experience that I really liked.